I'm Josh Bishop, and today we're going to learn more about Hammond Manufacturing's enclosures. Hammond does many different things, but today we're only going to go over a few of their electronic enclosures and related accessories. Nearly all of their parts have in-depth product specification pages with models in different formats like PDFs, DXFs, step files, and parasolid files. And many of these parts can also have custom factory modifications if that's something you need. With the enclosures I have here, let's start with the 1554 series. This enclosure is a gray polycarbonate plastic that has been UV stabilized for indoor or outdoor use, though there are ABS versions available for indoor use. This has a clear lid, but is still water and dust proof with a rating up to IP68 and NEMA 4, 4X, 6P, 12, and 13. These were designed specifically for mounting printed circuit boards or DIN rail mounted components. You can see the slots on the sides that are perfect for sliding a PCB into place. The 1555 series is very similar to the 1554, but has a few key differences. While it is also available in UV stabilized polycarbonate or ABS for indoor use, this has a different style lid. The 1555 series has this inset that can be used to mount an informational sticker or some sort of keypad. It also has standoffs molded inside the lid and finally, it's just a little bit more modern in its look. It's still IP68 and NEMA rated and is designed for installing PCBs or DIN rail mounted components. Next is an enclosure from the 1555 F series, which you can see has flanges on the side for wall mounting. To decrease the potential for tampering, the lid screws are actually on the interior and then you can use security or tamper resistant screws to mount it. With the tongue and groove gasket, all 1555 series enclosures are rated up to IP68. This also has a satin texture on the side with a smooth portion on the top to make it easier to mount whatever you need on the front. Moving away from the plastics, the 1590Z series is made up of rugged die-cast aluminum alloy enclosures. As you pick this up, you can tell it is definitely heftier, and the nice thing is that while these are tough, they're actually very easy to machine and customize. They use a tongue and groove construction with a single piece silicone rubber gasket to achieve their IP68 and NEMA 4, 4X, 6, and 6P ratings. If you want, you can get painted versions that are painted inside out with a tough powder coating, either a textured black, like this one, or a smooth gray. Otherwise, they're an unfinished aluminum. Being metal, these are great for indoor or outdoor applications and in tough industrial environments. Finally, we have some of the accessories. This is a pole mount kit for several different enclosure series, including the 1554, 1555, 1555F, and 1590Z series we just looked at. This pole mount kit is so you can put any of these enclosures on poles from as small as 1.5 inches up to either 7 or 15 inches. The clamps are tightened with a standard 5 16 inch nut drive, so no specialty tools are required. All parts of this kit are stainless steel, and it comes with two mounting brackets, two strap clamps, and the mounting hardware. Each kit comes with different types of mounting hardware to work with whatever enclosure you have. Finally, while all of these enclosures are waterproof, we have these liquid tight cord grips that will maintain the IP and NEMA ratings of these enclosures, even where there are cables going in and out. They're either gray or black like these, and accept a wide range of cable diameters due to the large opening in the nitrile rubber seal. The strain relief tightens in a circular sequence to give that excellent strain relief without twisting or damaging the cable that is passing through. You can see as I turn it that the rubber squeezes in, not in a circle, making it nice and even. And that's it. Again, Hammond Manufacturing does more than just electronics enclosures, and they do more enclosures than just these. But this is a great example to show the many different options that you have to protect your electronics from the elements. To learn more or purchase these parts, go to onlinecomponents.com.